uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, gonna be doing some live painting here uh, with some commentary uh, as well. I hope the sound levels are okay. If not, uh, let me know in the chat. Got a lot of uh, subscribers and such yet. Right. Um, and if there is any questions about my art or uh, things I do on screen, just post we'll in the chat and I'll try and answer. Um, so, right now I'm just getting a bit acquainted again with this uh, image I'm working on, many layers and stuff, so my brain is just going through the motions. Be working on the shoulder pads to um, get those in, like get all of these sort of um, gem like areas done first. Thank you. 
music is to people's liking. It's very chill. Probably heard it uh, before on like chill hop channels and things like that. And I uh, hope I'm getting through clearly with the mic. It's a bit of a headset mic, so probably not like the best pro streamer quality to it. different one where I change a bit of the color to add uh, what, what should I it's like when you look at like the ocean and you look very deep into it it changes a bit of color almost like it mm, I'm not sure what it's called like it it's uh, sort of the light breaking a little bit into it but it's yeah, it's a bit of a different... Oh, okay. Uh, so, let's see. Music. Okay. Adjusting the music a bit. Might be too loud. Hopefully it's good there. Thanks for the uh, comment there, uh, Matt. Happy to see you there. Uh, Tiger K is coming along. Uh, this uh, whole work is a bit of like a um, fan art for my friend Matt Jordan's uh, character K. But this is a bit of like a different version, like a Mecha Tiger version. Has his own kind of universe uh, going on. I think it was called like Blue Shift, um, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I uh, would advise to check out his Twitter and stuff. I'll probably put that in the description after uh, the video is done. Uh, so yeah, just adding a little bit of that. Try again a little bit, wasn't happy there. Try get it a bit more in the middle centered. There we go. Then we have um, where I add a little bit of the uh, flat color back in on top just to make it seem like there's a small layer of like, glass over it, you could say. Uh, so yeah, that's usually the way I shade these and then after, uh, eventually I'll add a bit more like effects and stuff to it. Carry on with the shading. Get done. Get that done on all the areas. kind of process for all the areas. Uh, which is why 
I like to have these four layers because it makes this process uh, uh, quite easy, or it it's certainly makes it a bit streamlined, I'd say. So these are a bit of a, these are a different one because different color. So I need to um, have a bit of a different opacity and stuff to them. Hey, welcome, Enro. Happy to see you. People from a Discord channel I hang out on uh, comes around to have a look. from friends and uh, other artists I talked to and such so eventually it just had to make the jump um, oh how long I worked on this uh, I think it's approaching maybe hmm, six or eight hours eight hours I think that I worked on this. Uh, it has been a bit of a slow going, so I am usually very a bit slow on things. <laughs> hey, don't cut. Welcome. Quite a greeting you have there. So yeah, about 8 hours work, um, I'm guessing this will probably take me around altogether, at least 12 hours maybe, 
if I'm going to help. Uh, it depends a bit on, on the day and what kind of um, shape I'm in. Uh, how quickly I manage to get things done. And sometimes I just get a very clear idea and just, you know, roll with it and get things done very quickly. A lot of times I need a little more time to think and to plan things out. stuff is quite labor intensive sometimes. It's not that hard though, it's it's more that it yeah it just takes time. Uh, it's just like you need to um, keep adding like uh, kind of like I do with this like you need to uh, just like add several layers of shading and stuff onto it. something I find very enjoyable especially when I get like parts like these like it looks like really shiny and stuff that, that's always awesome so yeah I just need to get all these areas done putting all of these uh, sort of like gem-like things on my characters. I wonder sometimes where these kind of like... Mm, which one was like the, the... where they came from. I, I'm guessing like there uh, might be like some jewelry or something in like classical... Also stuff. Oh, is it still too loud? Uh, okay, I'll try and... Maybe I can adjust my mic more. Let's see. Is it good now? I'll try and increase the volume. Hold on. this. Is that better? Uh, does that work? I can't increase the volume of my mic though. Uh, I'll try and see if I can find a way to boost it. Is it better now? Maybe I just need to speak louder. Okay, much better. Can you still hear the music or is it gone? <laughs> it's very hard to judge. Okay. We'll just leave it there for the moment then. Uh, well, always a bit of a technical issue, especially when doing the these kind of things the first time. Uh, it 
it's faint, but you can hear it. Maybe I can... Let me try and adjust it a little bit again. Uh, uh, if I do... Okay, just adjust a little bit, and then I just down there. So how is this? Uh, am I still too quiet? Hey, okay. So we'll keep it there. Right? Gotcha. Hey, welcome, uh, Jacob. Right. Okay. I think I'm mostly done there and just need to add a little bit back in. go hey thanks thank you um so yeah okay shoulders and these done i just need this ah there we go uh, do the blue one first, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, wrong color. There we go. Ah, this will be a bit of a different shape. Uh, interesting. Um, so yeah, how are you all doing today though? You all good? I do plan to um, uh, try and stream regularly. How regularly? I don't know. That, that's a, still a bit up in the air. But um, I will make an effort to try and make it as often as I can. Um, I am thinking of making it like uh, more regular to stream rather than the earlier uploads I've done. Uh, changing everything to a bit more of a streaming thing. Uh, I got a sandwich from Delhi. Uh, that's good. That's good. Hope it was a delicious one. Hey Matt, you finished a gig work? Uh, what kind of work was it? Well, if you can say. Uh, don't know if things like that are confidential or such. Ah, uh, let's. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Here, so I can start with the lighting on this. Hmm. 
Photoshop shop and work on movie posters. Oh, interesting. Uh. Are they like, uh, is it like indie movies? Or... Um, Or more big, uh, bigger budget ones. Okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. Well, got to earn your pay. That's uh <laughs> uh, yeah, you wanna get back to your street by yourself, huh, Matt? Yeah, I can definitely see that. Especially as the uh, new release is coming around the corner. Does anyone else play uh, any fighting games? Uh, do play a lot of um, uh, Guilty Gear. Uh, used to play uh, a bit of older Street Fighters. And such. Mm. Also played a bunch of Killer Instinct back in the day. Ah, okay, this is a little bit different. Man, looking really forward to um, trying Street Fighter 6 though, when it comes out. It's gonna be a blast. Oh, Valorant! Oh man, I tried that uh, when it came out. That was really a uh, really fun game. Maybe I should try it again one of these days. Uh, what character do you play in it? <laughs> yes, I do play a mean Ramleval. Still have a lot to learn though. Your I know I know uh, play is uh, is always a struggle. It's uh, one hell of a beast to try and beat. Do it on the wrong one. I did do it on the wrong one, didn't I? Uh, ah, there we go. Okay. And uh, try to talk and work at the same time. I need to get used to it. <laughs> Sova. Uh, I don't remember that character. Is that a new one? 
They might have added characters since I played. Um, what kind of character was it? I'm gonna have to Google that just very quick and see if I. I don't remember this one. Ah, looks like a cool character. Sniper. Until and I put the right course. But yeah, so one. It's... Might have to revisit that game. Probably added a lot. Oh, was he? Hmm. I don't remember that character. I didn't play it for very long though, so... Um, I don't think I even remember the character I used to play. It was the... Um, one that used the... like, throwing knives. Chamber. <laughs> I never tried chamber, I think, either. I tend to be very focused in uh, in games, like I don't try all the characters, I tend to hone in on one and play that one very dedicated. Yes, chat. Um, always love that character. It's I think that character had a great uh, mobility set. Um, I always tend to favor those kind of characters. There we go. All of the areas are shaded. Now just need to add the light to them. Uh, let's see. Where did I put all the light? There we go. light I usually do very strong um, contrast I guess uh, at least for a highlight uh, 
and these sort of gem things, they usually follow almost a bit of their own logic sometimes with the light. Um, A little bit of lag there. Oh shit, I forgot to put on the sub view. Uh, don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Ah, yes, there it is. Okay. Just helps to have a bit of a zoomed out view when I'm working here. Play a little bit of Overwatch, don't cut. Uh, how's the um, number two, uh, the sequel? Well, it's a bit more like a uh, updated or update than a proper sequel, as I've heard. Pay or watch one. Oh yeah, or watch one. Uh, you need to pay for that. Damn, I've completely forgotten that fact. Uh, I'd always like assumed it was like a free-to-play game. Lighting on this going gets a bit more life into them. It's just a bit the same as with the shading, just need to repeat the ritual and add the light to all these. Going a bit through the motions.
there we go. That's all right there. Highlights. almost right and then I need to add a bit of softer light on it and that's this one Select the right area. Starting to take a little more shape now. And lastly, this. There we go. That is all of the gems. Mostly done. Just need a little small detail. Just try to save a bit of time, just copying it and oh, a little softer. Ah. Is there a law reason? Um, there kind of is, like. I uh, thought it'd be like, hmm, how to put it? Uh, 
it is kind of where they store like these characters store their um powers um or energy um if they kind of like run out of life or energy they these gems would sort of go blank and have uh, Uh, ba basically, they just be like used up batteries, if you will. And these characters have like a kind of like almost like matrix pods, which they sleep in, uh, which recharges them. I was wondering, next time I, I answer a question from the chat, maybe I should read the question. <laughs> that would make it easier for people to view this, like, later date. But yeah, so this, this is kind of like the life force, if you will. Um, that is stored in these. So of course, if they get damaged or um, such, they might like lose power, but they also might be a bit like um, similar to Land of the Lustrous. They might actually lose memories or part of themselves because they're very integral to them. So yeah, that is at least the the um, sort of uh, thought I had with them. Oh, okay then. Just my first time doing things, so you know, <laughs> not quite sure on how to do everything. That's part of the fun of it, isn't it? I think that pretty much sums up like almost artistry in itself, you know. Half the time you don't quite know what you're doing, but you are doing things and you are getting better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they, they will lose vibrancy and I'm also thinking if they are like in life uh, threatening uh, condition, the gems might actually change color or be like more red or showing signs of danger. Kind of like a, 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 like a, a system, like a uh, if you look at like a lot of uh, sci-fi movies, like a robot that goes into like a critical mode their l lights will be like warning lights and stuff like that uh, which would also serve as a way of like if there is like search and rescue like they'd be easier to find kind of thing almost like a tracking signal <laughs> Critical mode initiated. Yeah, you got it. Um, might also change uh, call depending on if they go like maybe into like some sort of overdrive or something. I haven't really thought on that. Sometimes I just find new ideas as I talk about them or think about them. Haha. <laughs> 
Haha, <laughs> super zone, yeah, exactly. I guess that they, they would kind of like enhance whatever they are, their abilities are. Because um, a lot of my characters are not gonna be like combat types. More like civilians. With unique abilities and there. I uh, almost think of it like a little bit as um, My Hero Academia, in a sense. I, I will kind of like that universe like it's uh, the powers are so widely different that some are useful for combat others are useful for other things kind of thing Almost done with the gems now. Oh, let's see. Uh, just one more. be the gem sorted for a little while. Ah, oh, wait. There's one more thing here. That's the kind of like reflection that goes kind of under the, uh, the glass kind of thing. Uh, ah, bloody hell. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's the layer. How would I do this? There we go. So yeah, if there's any more questions and stuff, just feel free to ask anything. to get used to to try and almost sit and uh, talk to yourself as you're streaming but everybody feels a little awkward at first get a bit self-conscious or maybe not uh, let's see no i was quite happy with that one Try again. Go. Oh, I think I want to try this one again as well. Didn't feel like it did well with the shape, so just to fix that a little bit.
Okay. Right, I think that's it. Hopefully soon for this. movie I've seen recently. Ah oh boy, I haven't seen many um I haven't seen many movies lately. We did watch that um I don't know if it's a good movie. I just watch it so I need a bit of time to um run it through my head. Uh but I did watch like the um uh, what's it called like uh, reincarnated as a slime movie that I think was released in not too long ago. Um, I enjoyed it. I wouldn't. I'm, I'm hesitant to call it a great movie. <laughs> it, it's more of a uh, more of a popcorn movie, if you know what I mean. Um, like some something you put on like a Saturday night, you don't know quite what to watch. But you are entertained, nonetheless. Uh, that, that kind of movie. And yes, a furry with no fur. Kinda got it. <laughs> uh, it's like a... Yeah, like a robot furry, I guess. Well, maybe... Maybe it was good. I'm, I'm just not, you know, I just need a bit of time to um, process it. Because sometimes, you know, uh, when I watch a movie, I, like, I think I'm one of those people that can watch a lot of things and be entertained by most things. So I need a bit of time to think after a movie, after the fact, to whether I really enjoyed it or whether I enjoyed all the plot points and etc you know and yeah popcorn movies are are great you know great fun uh, I mean it, it's just a lot of um, uh, it's I mean, there, there's a lot of like uh, popcorn movies I remember like watching. I uh, just enjoyed, um, like especially like in the in the like B movie genre and stuff like that. You know, um, like the Godzilla movies and stuff are, are you know. They're kind of great movies in a sense, but they're also very popcorny, very uh... so yeah. Um, haven't seen anything else lately. Um, I haven't really had much time to watch things. It's mostly been like uh, watching YouTube and uh, stuff like that, um, which isn't terribly exciting, mostly tutorials and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, mostly been playing a bit of games. I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, that's a uh, oh, that's a blast from the past. Um, it is such a good game still to this day. Like even it, it, like sure they made it, like modernized some things and made it harder, but uh, 
My god, it, it's just such a uh, thrilling game. <laughs> Popcorn needs a nerf. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would make a pretty healthy snack compared to like um, uh, normal like um, potato chips and stuff. Cause not like if you eat like a lot of potato chips, it can't really upset your stomach and stuff like that. Um, I guess the thing with the popcorn though, it is very salty, lots of salt. I'm not quite sure how healthy that is. In, uh, but you know, as a weekend snack, great. Um. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Resident Evil 4. I had completely forgotten the um, the uh, sort of underground um, uh, cart scene. Where in the cart and you, you shoot these people. It, it was to a point where I was thinking like, is this just something that was in the, in the new one? But I, I think it was in the old one, I just completely forgotten it. And it, it kind of reminded me like how some of the games in that era had a lot of variation in the gameplay. Um, I feel like, especially with like live service game stuff, uh, the gameplay feels a little samey. Um, but just having that that linear story with a lot of different mechanics that you like, new mechanics thrown at you um, that changes the game completely. It's always fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it is in the uh, old one. I just completely blanked out of it. So when I got to that point again, I was just like, "Oh my god, this is uh, didn't didn't know this was there." <laughs> so it's been it's been very fun to re-experience the game. So yeah, um, also been trying. Oh, what's the other game I'm trying to play? Like, um... oh yeah, dude, I'm trying to play like Zero Dawn. Try and get through that. Yeah, yeah, Resident Evil 4 is like an idea every ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it also has has such great enemy designs. Like the, um, I like how, for instance, like the dogs evolve throughout the game. Like the first start start as standard dogs, and then they get these groves that sort of come out of them, and they, they become like more and more tricky, especially in the maze. That 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 is both infuriating but also awesome. Uh, and you have like the armored suits where you have to like kick off their helmet. Oh, man, uh, great enemies. Right, so let's see. I need to start working on some of the metal parts here. I get that done. So let's see. Oh god, I have so many layers. I need to really... Okay, so it is here. Uh, trying to talk and work at the same time. That is gonna get take some getting used to. Oh yeah, I have actually... So... There we go, that's the one I'm looking for. So 
So yeah, I've also been gaming. Um, also been playing a lot of um, company heroes with a friend. That's always fun. Um, playing PvP, it's kind of like a broken game, but it's still fun. It, it's in that lovely state where everything is unbalanced. Um, before everything gets nerfed and yeah, things get samey. And of course, lots of guilty gear. Lots and lots of guilty gear. So let's see now. I need to. Oh god. I need to do like this. I probably need to save this color here. I've forgotten to do that, I think. I'm sure there is a better way to keep track of the colors in this, but I'm not quite on par with that yet. Oh man, it lights up so nice when you get get this on. It's just so it's nice to see like when you are like adding uh, lighting to it and it you add like a colored light and it just starts to pop, you know. It's just so satisfying. Um, so yeah, hmm. Okay, so... I've been watching a bit of anime though, here and there. Oh yes, I did um, uh, almost finish uh, Mob Psycho, third season. Uh, not thick enough though. Um, what are you referring to? <laughs> I might... I wonder if there's a few like um Oh had a little hiccup there. Yeah, okay. So I'm working a little bit slower than usual here, yeah, but... You know what I'm referring to? Ah... Uh... Huh, I'm not quite sure I do. But um, not thinking. Oh, hang on.
Ah, uh, but yeah. Okay, now we're getting there. <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? Fake or fake? Well, I can't really see her leg, so... But we'll assume. Maybe in the future we'll know. I guess, you know, she's a tiger, so... Maybe? touches zoom in a bit so let's see there we go ah okay so that was what you meant <laughs> are you referring to her hair because <laughs> that is quite fake <laughs> Tiger quads, yeah, probably. That she probably does. But yeah, I, I want to draw this character again and make it like a full body drawing. Design more, add more elements. more um, try and get like more of the um, see how like it all uh, comes together I kind of have it in my head but it's one thing to try and imagine it and another to draw it I don't ever feel like my drawings end up the way I think there's so many changes along the way all the time and you, you always get those like ah oh, wouldn't it be cool to do X or Y or that you just sort of like um, see like a, a or like you, you like experimenting with Shay some stuff Tigerfy. Yes. Uh, I have a feeling this is going in a bit of a... Um, bit of a Yabai uh, direction now. Or a dangerous direction. But yeah, I wonder, like, since uh, mo uh, a lot of you that are here now are artists, like, what? How many of you are like, when you draw, like, um, the finished state? or the finished image is exactly how you imagine it at the start. Because I feel like that never, almost never happens with me, like... Oh, our tiger is really aggressive. I 
I guess they are. I haven't really... I know they're dangerous, but like how aggressive, I don't know. I haven't really read up on tigers when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that's uh, uh, that has like that, where it's like uh, have an idea, but it doesn't quite end up like that. That that's something like I think many who start out with art might struggle a bit with because they probably have that idea that things are gonna be how they imagine it. I think I remember like back to my own experience like that was a bit of a hurdle to get over in a sense like you hmm, you almost kind of like set yourself up for a little bit of disappointment Almost. Yeah, yeah, it's the same for me, like, the, the first drawings are just, like, experimentation or, like, figuring things out. It's kind of like when I do, like, uh, draw characters for the first time, like, I uh, always assume, like, the first draft of them is not the finished um, character. It's always just a step in the, their design. Because the more I reiterate it, the better they become and more focused. Um, or more focused they become uh, both as character in personality but also in their uh, visual design. So yeah, that's... But it's always a fun process. It's always a fun process uh, to just keep... Um, almost like discovering characters. Like you get little ideas here and there and then you just go with it. I almost feel like it's when I'm making my characters, it's more like I almost like in my head look through a lens into a world. Um, and the more I sort of look at it, the more clearer that picture becomes. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Like a lot, a lot of uh, new people, they, they see a lot of finished art, but they don't quite get the process or like to see like uh, the um, step by step thing. Um, and that can lead to a lot of disappointment. That's why I think it's very important to encourage people that are just starting out. Um, even if like they are like barely, uh, you know, if it's like stick, almost like stick figure <laughs> um, skill level or such, it's important to keep encouraging. Because uh, at that level, it's not really important with all the uh, big basics. At that point, it's more that they just keep drawing. Okay. I do seem to have uh, some connection issues and uh, it, it says Ops is reconnecting. So if there's anything wonky, that is the issue. 
I am gonna just try something. Okay, so let's... Okay. <laughs> and yeah, I'm doing good by the way, Viggo. Uh, nervous as heck doing this though. Nervous as heck. Yeah, I think it should be fixed now with the obs. It kept reconnecting or something, so I hope that doesn't ruin the stream. Um, did you guys any experience any hiccups? Okay, nothing too bad. I might have to look into that a little bit. I had a sneaking suspicion it was because of Chrome. Because I had the um, stream open in Chrome to see the chat. Um, and Chrome just takes so much resources the longer it goes. Um, so now I'm actually using Microsoft Edge because I think that's one that uses less resources so hopefully it doesn't happen again <laughs> just enjoy that's what I'm trying to do just be here enjoy and vibe get some out done so yeah I hope it's a chill time for everyone And that you got yourself something nice to drink. <laughs> yes, you you always come in with the good uh, words of wisdom, Viggo. <laughs> How are you doing these days, by the way? You're doing alright? how it looks at the distance. Sometimes if I too zoomed in for too long I lose a bit of oversight on things. Hmm, that doesn't look too shabby. Might have to just make it a little... Working your ass. You oh, you moved south. Uh, where um, did you move like uh, to the capital? Or further, further south than out. Oh wait, where's that? That's oh, that's the one. Okay. Just ah, uh, having to remember the right layers.
Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite processes in uh, doing art is such chill to just be like doing this light um, I think it's just something you can zone out and makes it a bit easier to talk while doing don't have to focus too much <laughs> oh climate change <laughs> I thought you'd want to go more north to uh, escape the climate change, but uh, maybe not. I'm not too uh, well versed in the subject. Because you'd think like it was, you know, hotter the more south you went. Yeah, I'm not gonna start a climate debate here. So yeah, uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, this is going well. Oh, shorter winters, you know what? Yeah, I can get behind that. Winters in uh, Norway can be very long. Or feel very long. It's not my favorite time of the year. It gets very dark, it gets a bit more anxious. Snow is nice though, and the um, uh, northern lights is also very nice. Don't see them much where I live. All oh, right. Um, you have a good uh, continue. Good evening, Don Cat, and I'll see you around. Thanks for coming. Perhaps coming in the stream and uh, hang out. Really appreciate it. Pasta la pizza, dude. <laughs> yes. So, for the people who are here, what's your favorite pizza or pizza toppings? I know it's a random question, but it's one of those things that are. Always a bit interesting what people prefer. <laughs> Pineapple, you can't. <laughs> oh, that's the one thing I can't stand, but <laughs> uh, good on you. Uh. I just, I just don't get it. It's kind of sweet, you know. It's, it's. I just feel it get the pizza gets too sweet with pineapple. I do like pineapple in other uh, other things. It's just not on pizza. Mm. 
pineapple on hamburgers. Ah. Oh boy. I don't know. I guess it depends a little bit on the hamburger. I mean, there's so many different ones. <laughs> Pineapple is good on anything. <laughs> Uh, I, hmm. I'm not quite sure I agree on that. <laughs> but it is good on a lot of things. Um, I do like it in salads though. I do really, I really like it in salads. Um, and have a good sleep and thanks for uh, coming here and hanging out on the stream really appreciate it man a poke do you ever eat poke what's poke I'm not sure what that is say I've ever heard of Pope or maybe it's a translation thing gonna have to do a quick Google on that is it like a says of Hawaiian dish Pope's a diced raw fish so that was appetizing. Oh, sounds delicious. Oh, it's. I, I think we have a something similar like at um. Like a um sushi place, not far from where I live. Um, they have something called like poke bowl bowls um, uh, that that has like salads and stuff in them. Um, I'm not quite sure it's similar, but but yeah, that. From what I read there, it sounded sounded yummy. Yeah, yeah, I'll give that a go next time I'm down there. Uh, if they have some uh, with uh, sushi. Really fond of eating sushi though. Usually, like, um, is it maki rolls? Like, when it's um, usually rolled with rice. Wait, what now? Uh, yeah, I've eaten meat in like a very long time. 
uh, or I it's it's a long time since I was a vegetarian um, oh it's many years now uh, but I don't eat like still don't eat like a lot of meat but it's uh, it's some Portal Mombat Tournament? I... I remember like we had like Guilty Gear tournaments way back. Uh, did we have Mortal Kombat as well? I don't remember. Oh, maybe we play like Mortal Kombat... Um... Oh, which one was it? I don't remember which one it was. Um, yeah, we might have played Mortal Kombat as well. I don't quite remember which of those titles we did play though. Um, Cause I was, I'm not sure like Mortal Kombat um, 8 or 9 were out at that point. Maybe it was like one of the PlayStation 2 ones. Uh... Oh god, which one was it that we played? But yeah, shit, like uh, a lot of Guild Gear. A crap ton of Guild Gear. I don't remember which character you used to play, Viggo. Was it Testament? I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> Red Time was a lizard, yes it was. That takes me back, way back, playing Guilt Gear in the uh, living room on like a big screen. That was, that was the stuff. But yeah, actually now um, uh, we got me and um, uh, Matt often plays Guilt Gear. Uh, Guild Gear Strive, which is awesome game, awesome entry into the uh, series. I would recommend it highly. The the visuals in that game is just mind blowing. Yeah, Strive it is is it's a different guilty gear, but my god, it's such a good good game. Good fighting game. Like it it I, I love the old guilty gear, but I think like if somebody especially new to fighting games um came in and asked me which point to jump into the series, Strive would be my pick. Because it's much easier to learn and just the mechanics are so well designed <laughs> oh yeah you're working you're working yourself to, to the bone but yeah if you ever ever get it and you get time you know send me a message Um, 
me and Matt like plays it like every um is it every Sunday now? Are we Oh your girlfriend playing Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue? Oh wow. Friggin' Blaze Blue man. Love Blaze Blue, but that is a difficult fighting game. <laughs> she kills you a lot. <laughs> Damn, I mean, you, you, both you and your girlfriend should join us for a fighting game. Does she uh, practice a lot? where I have these okay gonna do a bit of uh, shading on the skin I think <laughs> she only likes fighting games what other games are there to like I ask you. Fighting games are the only games. Well, that that the normal core. Has anyone else played the uh, the old Armor Core games? Yeah, no worries, Matt. <laughs> I'll bring it up another time then. But uh, thanks for coming by. Really appreciate you hanging out. It's been uh, it's been great. You take care, man. Yeah, talk to you next time. Thanks for coming. Ah, Vigo, you uh, played a little bit of the armor call? Do you remember which one you played? You borrowed it from me. Yeah, you probably did. I, I was a huge Armor Core fan back in the day. Well, still am. If 
you borrow it from me, it was probably um, it was either Armor Core Two or Last Raven. I think. I mean, I did have a lot of them, but I think those were probably the ones I uh, ran. Or I'm not sure. Wait, didn't you borrow like my entire PlayStation? Or do I remember that wrong? Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, that's... Yeah, okay... Okay, just continuing a bit with my shader. Oh, to reset the opacity. But yeah, oh, can't wait for the new armor core to come out. That's gonna be fun. It is looking. Just looking fantastic. Uh. <laughs> yes, that is the cycle of Um Mostly painting your Mac or customizing, uh, choosing the right parts, and of course, spending time making an emblem is very important. Probably the most important in the game. <laughs> very, very happy I enjoyed that. Made a little uh, uh, joke on um, Facebook that I'd probably retire a bit from uh, from life once the um, Armor Core game comes out. Spending my time in garage. Well, which I can do probably. If they have like an emblem editor, I'm gonna. Oh god. I'm gonna be spending so many hours on it. Just trying to fill in a bit of the detail here. Just 
getting to a point where I must uh, pay a little more attention to what I'm doing. Try and get a bit more of an oversight on things. Jump ar uh, around a lot on my image. Um, I don't really plan well for how I color sometimes. Sometimes I just keep winging it. Yeah, it's a bit, um, it's something to get used to sitting and talking a lot. Um, but yeah, I think this is coming along well though. A little. Getting a better and better idea on how I'm gonna carry on. Sometimes don't have a clear idea um, how to get started or where I'm going. But it comes as I work. Slowing down a little bit. There is always the, the um, tough subject of like AI art and what happens. Uh, in that area. Somewhat unsettling. Try not to think too much in it though. I do see a lot of um, posts, especially from people who are just starting out and stuff, that struggle with the motivation because of it. And that is always a bit um, sad. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look at the hands. <laughs> it can't do hands well. I think it's just many people, many start to question themselves or if it's worth doing, you know. I, of course, think it's absolutely worth doing always. But I don't blame them for feeling a bit despondent. Because um, if you're not like very secure in what you're making and it's always um, 
where you especially if you feel like yeah, what you're making is not good for yourself and then you see AI art which you know makes all these sort of beautiful things then I can imagine like it, it must be a bit of um, a little bit heartbreaking in that sense or <laughs> a little uh, quite heartbreaking but I, I generally don't like the look of AI art there's something I always feel there's something off about it and I know people say oh it will get better and all that Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always overcome the fear. I feel that, yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot of big part of trying to be an artist, I think, or to make art. And yeah, it, it, a lot of AI art has a really bad and cannibalic effect to it. And they also are very, very busy, a lot of them. Insanely busy. It's like there's no attention to um, where the details are put, in some sense. I'm sure you can point to like, or some can point to like, oh, you know, here's a good one or something, but it feels mostly like it's, it's just throwing random stuff together and uh, in a pattern kind of thing and art is so much more than that you know it's it's people um, like ev every every artist is like a personal journey Kind of similar to like how people have like spiritual journeys or such, you know, it's a very personal thing. And to have that kind of harvested by an algorithm or like a, a almost like more like a script. <laughs> yeah, no no worries man. If you need to get your Z's, go and get your Z's. Really appreciate you coming in though. Really happy about this sport. You really surprised me. <laughs> more interesting and talk about... Let's get more interesting and talk about spirituality. Oh, that's a hot, hot topic. Uh, but yeah, it's I, I just think like art in general is, is very similar. You are like, like you're trying to discover your voice kind of thing with it. And especially when you're starting out new, you don't have that voice. You, well, some may, might, like they know exactly what they want and what they want to do. Like they either have like some fan art or not fan art um like a piece of media they're very attached to that they want to um pay homage to or incorporate or such but a lot of people have a bit more of a vague start you know um they might bumble a bit more which is a good way to do it as well and, and maybe 
start a bit more in the basics and hang on is this on the wrong lane ah it's fine So yeah, uh, always a bit of a um, struggle with the AI out. Yeah, that's a good thing, like, uh, get, get him to post and show people. Um, I had a recent talk with a, um, um, with a friend's um, uh, daughter about art. Uh, she was going to be a tattoo artist. And it was really interesting um because like like many artists you know very shy and, and didn't want to share too much and i think that's a common for a lot of people i but i i generally feel like you should just even if you're unsure you should put yourself out there and just try and get through that barrier of anxiety i have a lot of anxieties um always struggle with it just doing this stream is very almost a bit anxiety inducing but it's also about pushing yourself a bit forward um one step at a time um, like you can't i had a good friend that told me that you know, you, every time you give in to your anxiety, you make it worse. Um, and of course, it's not easy um, to not give in. Like, that's what you kind of want to do. Like, you want to... Or you feel like you want to do. Um, which makes it a very hard struggle. And you need people around you to support you and um, to help you a bit out of it. But you do need to do a lot of heavy lifting yourself. But it's very important to have the support. I don't think I could have been like here and done a stream if I didn't get the support I, I got. Um, oh, I need a bit of a drink. Oh, important to stay hydrated. Hydrated. Yeah, connection between people are important. Um, I definitely think like if you, no matter how good you are in art, you should always join or try and find a communi community. Um, that is, I think, a very important part of it. Um, I for the longest time didn't have a community and I didn't join because I was very shy and very... Um, but I think it's thanks to the fact that I joined them that I am actually here and streaming again, you know, it's... Or e even having like a YouTube channel or trying to have a YouTube channel. Um, if I didn't have them... 
I would probably just keep doing what I'd uh, done up to a point, which is like just sit and draw, but not share or not try and reach out and show. Just, yeah, just show people and mm, try and communicate, I guess. But of course, everybody has kind of their own struggle. I hope I'm not quite getting into dangerous topics. I, I dread such, such things. Um, but yeah, it's... Oh. Got a little hiccup in the program there. Yeah, just hanging out and talking and uh, I think like when you join a community of like artists they it's the encouragement that is very important as well as the critical input you can get because that that's the main way I feel I learned best is through other people talking to other people and um, both have them look at my stuff and such. Um, so I want to give, give a little shout out to uh, two discords I've been very active in, which has helped me a lot. And that is um, uh, both uh, Sally. Um, oh, how do I spell that name? Oh, I found it. Salifias Discord? Salifias. Um, yeah, I think that's how it's spelled. Salifia. Sally. Salfia. Salifia. Salifias Discord, uh, which is an artist on um, uh, both Twitter and I think she has an Instagram as well. Uh, but I also think she does Twitch streaming um, and she has some lovely art. Um, it's a very chill community there. And also Artists on the Rise by uh, Chris Way, um, which also is a, a very nice community, very re relaxed community. Um, but of course you have like a Discord communities for a lot of artists, so it's about finding where you're comfortable and where you meet people that you feel are comfortable. Yeah, I just... Yeah, sitting and painting Warhammer. Wow, that's... 
That's really nice. Like, just sit on Discord and uh, talk to people while painting that. I haven't painted a lot of like figurines. Painted a little bit. But I get so busy with like my digital stuff or my traditional art that I I sort of get all my outlet um, for like creative stuff, especially like in games too. I'm not like very much into like things like Minecraft or things like that because I rather like to spend my time when um, uh, hair creating. Or it's more like I, I don't feel the need for it, I guess. Uh, when I sit down in game, I just want something that is like a story or almost a bit like how you enjoy a movie kind of thing. Yeah, let's see how it's looking. Hmm. I think I made some good progress today. Uh, do a little bit more. We got a bit um no I'm jumping a lot of topics here but uh, also got very recommended by my uh, art teacher to start speaking on this channel because I said when I started out it was very I was very anxious about that part um, I want to do a bit of like long videos and share what I make kind of thing. Mm. I think especially with the talk of like AI art and stuff, it's more important than ever to show your process and you working because that itself becomes like a part of your art um, in a sense especially with like the interconnected world we are today but that said it is very fun to hang here and try and vibe and just work on things and talk um, yeah, yeah, me too. I, I love watching work in progress and seeing other artists work, uh, seeing sketches behind the scenes, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of things like that. Just seeing people um, paint. Because everybody does it so differently as well. It's always something to learn.
it, it's always um, yeah I don't know it's, it's just something fascinating to me like I almost appreciate that more than finished works most of the time just seeing how something is made or um, the stages le leading up to it Easy fix, easy fix. A little too bright. Oh, uh, that's the one I want. But yeah, um, Work in progress stuff is fascinating. This is a channel I watch a lot um, on YouTube. Um, it's a Japanese artist. Um, and I guess what I like about them is they're very simple videos. They're just. Um, there's no talking or anything, it's just the sounds of the pen. I think it was called like Akihito Yoshitomi um, or something like that. And you can only hear like the pen strokes and he's just working in silence. And I, I think it's so cool to just see him uh, just see his work process and he does very detailed manga illustrations uh, but this is definitely not the most popular one I think but there is just something to him that speaks to me um, since I spend a lot of time myself you know just drawing with pen uh, paper and often alone um, because I do like to work uh, sit in a quiet place and work not so much for ah damn ah well this. I need to keep track of my layers and sometimes I mess up a little. There we go. That pops a bit better. No worries, man. You go and have a good night. Thanks for coming by. Really appreciate the support. I am soon gonna finish up though. Do some smaller things. And I feel like I have talked way too much today. 
hope I was not completely boring. I think. finish these knuckles and then I think I will call it a day there. I wonder if these kind of like knuckle dusters almost. Always imagine like she'd be kind of brawling a little bit. I mean she's a tiger after all. silent moment, just concentrating a bit. It is getting quite late. So. is good for today. Oh, still have a lot to do, but made some good progress. Made some really good progress, yeah. Um, might need to do some more shade and also need to do the um, clothing here. And yeah, a little bit of this and that. So yeah, for those of you who managed to stick to the end, thank you so much for being here. It's been quite a wild ride for the first time, I feel. Um, but yeah, thank you and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will probably be trying to stream a lot more and work on a lot more different art projects. Um, and if you like this kind of thing, you know, like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you all around. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. <laughs>